Today we're going to install an SD card into a Xiaomi Redmi 9 Note Pro. Alright, so rotate your phone around until you can find the SIM card tray. Inside here you should insert the little key that was uh, provided with your phone. And just push it in there. And now you can see it is ejected. Now you don't need to push it out all the way. The first slot is for an SD card. So here we can take a little, our little Samsung SD card, just put it in there securely and push it in. And there we go. When you buy your SD card, make sure that you buy it from a reliable supplier because there are a lot of scam cards. Like this card is a complete scam. Uh, this card is uh, completely legit. Uh, so there are a lot of scam cards like this one on Wish, uh, Alibaba, Amazon. If it's super cheap, it's uh, probably fake. So buy a SD card from a reliable supplier. Otherwise, you probably just, uh, you know, the problem with the cheap card is that they, they are not actually the size they say they are. So when you're recording over the limit, old files just get deleted without you uh, seeing or noticing it. So you just make corrupted files. So when you buy an SD card, make sure it's from a reliable supplier so uh, you don't get scammed. There are a lot of scams out there. Just wanted to say that. But we're going to take our real SD card and install it in the phone. So uh, hang on. All right, so we are going to insert our SD card into our phone. So I put it in my little tray and I just noticed that I can actually have two SIM cards uh, and a micro SD card uh, in this particular model. So that's nice. So uh, we just insert it. And now we can see we get a little notification in the top left corner about a uh, SD card. It doesn't support or anything like that and we get a little... Um, notification here you don't need to care about that just remove it and uh, now it asks us how will you use this sd card use for extra phone storage or use for portable storage and we're going to click phone storage and then we'll get this um, little format option again which we're going to click yes on and uh, this is going to take a little while and it's going to be formatted so uh, just let it format now you can get the option to move files, media and certain apps to this Samsung card. You don't need to do this, but you can do it. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to select move content. Okay, so now the SD card should be a part of the system storage and you can see that uh, it has indeed increased quite much. So fantastic. Uh, and uh, that is that. We have now increased our phone's memory. Now we are inside the phone again and uh, now you can see that we have uh, a little new notification. Unsupported Samsung SD card. Click on this one and it asks you to format the card. But uh, click that away and here we can see we can choose use for extra phone storage or use for portable storage. Now uh, I have found out that um, use it as extra phone storage can sometimes mess it up a little bit for you because if you want to remove it you will have problem with your system files and it's more like uh, your phone's memory is replaced by the SD card rather than uh, you'll have it all extra. So to have it all extra I actually would indeed set it up as portable storage. So click on that and uh, format the SD card. And as you can see something SD card is now ready so we just click done and we can now see it inside storage. We have both the SD card and the internal storage which will give us the maximum available storage. Much better, much better. So actually you might want to expand your phone's memory but to get the most of everything I instead would set it up as a you know removable device so you can remove it uh, if you want. You can like instead go into the camera app, settings, and inside the settings we can set it to save to SD card. Uh, 
because uh, realistically this is where uh, the biggest files will be kind of saved. So there you kind of go, you can set up which applications will store in the SD card. You'll have much better control over the storage and where your files go and if you want to you can remove it to transfer it to other devices and stuff like that. So uh, I would prefer using this and it's also easier to take your um, old SD card to a new phone as well. If you want to use it in a new phone then you can just uh, put it in there basically, much better. So there we have it. That's how to install an SD card into a Xiaomi Redmi 9 Pro. Uh, or probably most other Xiaomi phones. Um, very easily, both ways, both to expand memory and to, you know, just have both of them, which is preferable. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Jim Odesen, signing out.